Recorded live with little or no editing, it's Defense Up, I'm Run7. How you doing? Uh, my kid just rolled his ankle, so we were in a super hurry to get this done. Fortunately, Atreides, who is operating at over 60 million in Plat 2 in Crucible, knows his stuff, and so we were easy. We, we easily got through this information, came up with some great ideas. Uh, nothing too cutting edge, but we're just going to shore up. It's already pretty decent defense. We have Darkhold in room one. I wasn't excited about this. He's actually getting good results. Now, remember, in Cosmic Crucible, if it's working, don't change it. All right. But I think that soon enough, this uh, people in his uh, his leagues are going to start figuring this one out. There are some easy counters, like a Tangled, Nova, Kestrel kind of situation works. You can drop Kestrel if you're using her in room two, offense or defense, and come up with OR or something else. It works just fine. Uh, Tangled, well not Tangled Eternals, but Tangled and stuff does pretty well against this. So we're gonna break this up. We're gonna be using MLF and we're gonna use Quicksilver in two other rooms. And instead, what we're gonna do with this team is we're gonna come up with an uncanny extreme or an uncanny uh, unlimited kind of defense in here. We're gonna go with Gambit Rogue. He happens to have X23 Phoenix and Colossus all built really big. I'm not a big fan of Colossus. It's not gonna add a lot of value, but X23 and Phoenix are great choices, especially when you've got Gambit and Rogue in there. And then it's kind of your choice of a fifth, probably something like Fire Chicken or Dazzler, just kind of depends on what you've got built big. He may want to try Colossus and see what happens with that. Uh, he doesn't have Jubilee built big. She would also be another choice for there. But Gambit and Rogue trying to make that uncanny kind of team going on in room one is going to be better than this. For me, it's old news. Uh, the placement and the ISOs are looking pretty good. I would make MLF a striker rather than a raider if you're going to run this sort of thing. But there's already a lot of strikers on the field here. So I guess that's probably what he's going for. But I don't like this. I'm going to go with this unlimited team instead. Over in room two, we have the Pegasus team. This is what I'm running and I like it. I think it works really well. However, uh, a lot of people are trying out the new Bifrost with Deathpool. You use Deathpool in place of Beta Ray Bill. Now, Deathpool is an old raid character some people may not remember or not know that and so she's feeding energy to the team and it changes some things she has pings and all sorts of fun stuff that goes on with death pool but uh atreides likes the pegasus and wants to continue using new warriors on offense and i agree with that i think this is a great team good placement everything's going on a for this room this uh it, it's just it's great right now don't use spider society on defense they're great on offense. They don't do anything on defense for reasons I don't want to get into it, but trust me, just don't use them on defense. It's a bad idea. Room number three. Over here, we're stealing Rogue and Gambit for that room one. And so in place of Rogue and Gambit, we want to drop in Cyclops and Noir. Now, Cyclops basically stands there and makes noise, but he also speeds up Forge in case somebody else dies, and then Forge takes turns and revives his team. That's not the big deal, though. The big deal is the Noir. Now, Sunspot is going to give offense up on spawn to all his teammates, and then Noir is going to jump out there fast in the beginning, and everybody's going to assist Noir. That can really crush your opponent if they're not prepared for it. So that's why we're going to go with the Noir Cyclops uh, aggroed defense. I like that better than this. This is a fine team and all, but you're kind of conglomerating a lot of decent stuff in a decent room that isn't utilizing the room rules as well as something like that noir defense so for me this is like a b team and i want to i want to juice it up by moving some of those parts around plus we're making a uh, as good or better team in room one and then this is going to be much better here in three in room number four uh atreides tried doing the Gamma three-piece with Captain America and Black Knight, and he said it was drawing Cabal every single time. And that's what he also wants to do with this. Now, we're stealing Noir out of here because Noir doesn't add too much to this team. Uh, Vulture's jumping out early if they try to bring in heroes, so it's emphasis on bringing in that Cabal early and, and trying to destroy it. You're probably going to kill the Doom. You don't even need to worry about ability blocking it. So this may work, and we can do two things. One, we can put Quicksilver in here in place of Noir, and hopefully that just looks scary and they continue bringing in a Cabal. 
Otherwise, he has a uh, three diamond Red Hulk, and so he's gonna go back to the three piece Gamma with Captain American Black Knight. That allows him to use Vulture for offense in conjunction with Superior Six and other teams, and that's a powerful tool on offense, and I think that's great. Also allows him to use Doom on offense, which if you're in control of that Doom, and you know what you're doing, you can wield it quite well to give that time platform the, the boost to another teammate and destroy stuff. I'm not using Doom that much on offense, but you can use him and it's an option. So I think Gamma's not gonna be used on offense and I think Gamma's the way to go. But something like this is also okay. This Vulture kind of forces your opponent to bring in that Cabal team. I mean, if he wants, he could do the three members of Gamma and the Vulture with the Black Knight over there. That would really push me to want to bring the Cabal into this. So I think we move this around a little bit, try something like the Gamma members in here or the Quicksilver, kind of your choice, but those are some options that you can do. That way you're drawing the Cabal team to this room and, uh, and they're not getting used elsewhere to beat something super duper efficiently. In room five, we have the Infinity Watch and we've talked about this one. He's got the revive people all separated uh, by these two in the back row. I think that's a great placement. You've got Healer on Moon Dragon. Moon Dragon could also be a striker if you really want to, but she doesn't do a lot of damage. Healer's fine. There's really no reason to change the ISOs on this team. Infinity Watch continues to make the meta and why not build him to the moon? Take him into DD7 for all I care. Hell, take him to DD8. Who knows? Uh, but it's a great team. I'm going to give this an A. You can move this around to different rooms too, but it, they work pretty good in flashback. All right, and finally in room six, we have the secret defenders with Dormammu, and this one has the Photon variation. A Photon is gonna make Hard Light go a little faster, but the new Warriors are still gonna roll this. And that's what uh, Atreides wants to do, is, is get rid of the new Warriors counter. Now, what I run is a Dormammu with MLF, and you have to be very specific on that placement. So from left to right, it's gonna go Robbie, Dormammu, Hard Light, Black Cat, and then MLF. Has to be that specific placement. And that will make it very tough for New Warriors to get through. However, New Warriors still can on a punch down. But a team this big, you're not gonna find many New Warriors that are that big to punch down into. So I think if Atreides makes those changes, that's really gonna soup up his his room six and make it much better, getting him some more points, which that of course forces us to destroy this dorm Quicksilver room in one, which I wasn't too excited about it anyways. And then a cascade of characters gets moved around. So let me know in the comments what you think. What's the better team? And do you really wanna draw Cabal out into room four? Is that a good play? What would you guys do? I'm kinda of curious, I'm trying to get a little bit more feedback in the comments section, so please let me know. Remember, if you want your defense featured on Defense Up, we also do War Defense. You just contact me, the links are in the description below. Contact me on Discord, I put you on the list. Uh, who are, It's first come, first serve. And uh, we are getting through that list, and so it's, it'd be great if people signed up for it. Keep me from worrying about it. I'm trying to do more and more of these. Remember, guys, don't just have a good game. Be good to yourself and others, too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.